Welcome back Flutter developers. Welcome to my channel about Flutter. In today's code recipe, I will be showing you how to implement animated container to animate an image. We will be using these different types of animation or curve animations uh, to animate this particular image inside an animated container. As or, uh, like always I do, I wrote a companion article for this particular widget as well. And so let's get started. So again, my article is in my blog right here. So, we'll, so what it is, it's an animated container widget provided by Flutter to animate a, an image inside, an, uh, inside in it. So animated container is a actually a version, animated version of container widget itself. And the, it's like a quick way to implement animation for a container widget. You can always do so by writing your own, any, own animation controller as well. But if you use animated container, you can do so uh, fairly quickly in easy cases or in simple cases. And we will be uh, doing, uh, so what we will be doing in this code recipe, uh, first, we will see the structure of animated container widget, and then we will observe the animation behavior for various types of curves. So if you go on this link, you will see what curves are. So this is a curve class, is a common collection of uh, common animation curves. So if you can play, it will, like if it bounce and it goes like this, on bounce and out, it will animate it differently. So I had written, uh, so uh, for the usual cases, I have created an animation curves class that you, it's also in the source code, it has a gist for it. So it's a, like an animation curve and it has all the animation curves which I, I mentioned here, most of them. And uh, so I have used a drop down menu to use this and to be able to play around uh, with the different animations for container. And I will be also writing a different uh, uh, more uh, art articles in this animation series about the more built-in widget uh, to support animation in an easy and quick way. So stay tuned for my next videos as well. And I will be using the very sim similar UI for uh, to demonstrate the uh, uh, new widgets as well. Okay, so in this particular widget, we have a little image here, and here are the, if you drop down here, you will see all list of the uh, uh, curves that we just uh, saw here that you can play around with. So let's quickly see our uh, code recipe app. So. This is a code recipe app that I started adding my all exploration of vid, uh, animation widgets. So starting with uh, for animated container. So if you click on this, you will see all the different uh, curves that you can uh, play around it. So if you see, uh, say, quick in, um, let's try the little bit. Quint out. So this is the ease in quint. So what it is a cubic animation curve that starts slowly and ends quickly. So let's see again. So it starts slowly and ends quickly. So you can always play around with that. So what this thing is, it's a cubic. So this is a cubic, uh, the parameters. So these are, if you, you can see there are X, uh, four coordinates here. So what this means is this this is x and this is y. The first x, y are the x, y or x, y coordinate of the starting position. And the later two parameters are the x, y coordinate, uh, coordinates of the destination. So I'm, I represented this one as well so that you have a better uh, understanding of what's going behind this animation. So let's say started uh, ease out quad. So you see that this one changed and it's starting from this coordinate 0 0.17 and 0.84, x, y, 2.44 and one. So let's see what happens here. So it's a cubic animation curve that starts quickly and ends slowly. 
So start quickly and end slowly. So it's pretty fun to play around with all these uh, animations and you can fit, uh, choose as uh, uh, the animation or curve that fits in your case appropriately. So I, I'm, I'm lo loving exploring this right now. So I hope you like it as well. Uh, so let's go back to animated container, like how, what we can do. So the code is very simple here, since it's a, just more a exploration on understanding what this widget does. This, uh, animated container has these parameters. So width and height of the container and the color, if you want to give it a background color and alignment uh, that you can put it like to what is the start with and end with. And duration and curve is something that you use to animate. So duration is the uh, how long it takes to uh, finish the animation. And the curve is the one which you use to give it the effect of like how it animates, and how, what kind of curve it should take, if it's go uh, slowly in, and if it's a sine curve, and so on. And these parameters are the starting parameter. And uh, you have to, so how animated container works is, uh, you, uh, first thing is you have to put this one in a stateful widget because based on the starting value of width and height and the ending value of the width and height, it actually creates the animation. So if you see, this is the code. So the only thing is you, you and um, animated container can only be used inside a stateful widget. And in here, I have used the play animation button little up there uh, to start the animation. And also I have used a gesture detector to uh, start the animation. So what it does is, it when I click the my press animate button, it actually says it's selected or it's not selected. So if animation started or not. So it says, it just toggles that, that flag. And what it does, it, it starts with 200. Uh, the width and the 400 is the height. And then when, so this is dimension of your container is 200 and 400. Now, when it finishes, like when the selected is toggled, what it becomes, it becomes 400 and 200. That's why our dimension of the container changed. And the alignment, it started with the top center and it ended at center. So you see these three parameters got changed in this animation, uh, from where it started and after you click the pressed. And it happened, all this happened over the duration of two seconds. And the curve it took, so when nothing is selected, it took linear. And whatever is selected afterwards, it takes the curve cubic. So this curve cubic, uh, what this thing is, it's actually the class I made for my own convenience. So it came from here, my animation curve and this is a curve. So this is a convenience class that I did it for myself. It's, it's not provided by Flutter in a build. However, the curve is provided by Flutter. So this is the curve cubic and the curve name and the description. This is just to rendering for the rendering purposes. Okay, now let's go back to the code. So this is my Android Studio in here. And this is an animator. So yes, you see this is selected. So this is my drop down menu, uh, as you can see, and I am using my curve options right here. So I imported this class, it's in my utility. You can feel free to, uh, oops, let's see how I can go inside. So in here, so these are my all curves and this is my utility class. And my all these parameters are displayed inside the in right in here. And if I change a selection, uh, like change a selection, my whole this thing is changed, which has three parts. And this my this is my animate button. When I click on it, it actually toggles my selected. And it uh, so it actually toggles this one. And based on the selected uh, Boolean flag, my, uh, the, my size or my uh, size of the container changes and its alignment changes as well. It starts from top center, and it, that's why it positions itself in the center. As you saw, it's positioned in the center. And it started at the big, so it's again, it started in the, it's centered in the, uh, sorry, <laughs> aligned is it in the center. 
So it just every time when you click it, it toggles itself. So either you can use animate or you can click on the image. So why it's happening, working on when I click on the image, because I use the gesture detector uh, right here, widget for that. And I'm setting this, I'm doing the same thing what we are doing in our uh, play animation, the same thing. So you can play around either way you like, but the main point is it changes the value from uh, what we started with to a new one whenever the state of your widget, uh, uh, the, the state of the widget is changed in the stateful widget. So that's pretty much uh, what is there in this particular uh, code recipe for the animated container. I will see you in the next video and we will be talking about animated uh, positioned widget provided by Flutter uh, system, the ecosystem. Till then, I'll, I'll take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.